Peppermint, with its Latin name Menta piperita, belongs to the Lamiaceae plant family. The genus Menta, or mint, in this family has developed a large amount of different species that have crossed together, so that they often cannot easily be distinguished. Menta piperita is a hybrid and the result of the cross-pollination between water mint and spearmint. The members of the menta have their own specific and unique flowers, bathing in the light on their typical square stems. The name menta is derived from the Greek word minta. Greek mythology mentions a certain nymph who was metamorphosed into the mint plant. The name piperita stems from the word pipa, meaning pepper in Latin, and has to do with the somehow spicy taste of the peppermint, plant and oil. Peppermint is cultivated today in southern European countries like Spain, France and Italy, also in Morocco, Brazil, USA, Japan and China, thereby manifesting a somehow global spreading from its European and North African origins. The herb has been an integrated component in folk medicine since ancient times. The knowledge of peppermint's powerful healing properties seems to have been evident to mankind from the very beginning, proven by the worldwide awareness of its benefits. Its efficiency in treating digestive complaints was already known to the Egyptians, the Greeks and the Romans. Peppermint is a perennial plant, expanding easily by underground stems, so-called stolons, and quickly covering the soil if kept moist enough. The herb prefers habitats of partial sun with shade. The smooth leaves are equipped with square-like oil glands. During the flowering period from June to August, peppermint carries small violet blossoms. The essential oil is obtained through steam distillation of the lightly dried herb. 100 kilo of the plant yield an average of 1 kilo of essential oil. Oui. Yeah, what, what, what René just explains here is that he has put an empty pass here in order to clean the still for the next distillation. Nice, he has it locked in the Peppermint? How many of those? That smells nice, right? Huh? Ah, oh, boy! Mm. Oh, that's, wow. That is yeah. a secret face yeah. in there. Great. Nobody will have a good idea. Giselle? I can't help you, René. I have to film this time. I've never done it. Doesn't it smell good? Oh, that's good. Yeah. So do you always mm. dry it? Now he has to dance on it. <laughs> so when you buy peppermint in the grocery store, is it? <laughs> There's another kind to put in Wrigley. <laughs> Uh, that can be Spearman and Wrigley, but it's so this is the separator, the bigger one, huh? Là, ça va commencer vite, ça. Le feu l'a démarré plus. Tu l'as bien chauffé, préchauffé ah, déjà. Ouais. So René just says. Ooh. 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 
No, he will also use the uh, ho- st- um, hay. Oh no, the straw. The straw from from the distilled plants. Yeah. yeah, he has preheated with wood, but now he will, the rest he will do with the straw. Yeah, for, just for starting, he has put the wood, the logs. Yeah. So the oil will come up and you see that the part, part of plant. Like candy. It's like candy. Yeah, like candy. It's already got some oil. Among the 30 main chemical compounds, we find menthol, 1.8 cineol, menthone, menthol acetate, neomenthol, isomenthol, alpha and beta pinene, limonene, etc. The essential oil harmonizes well with lavender, rosemary, eucalyptus, lemon, marjoram, and many oils from the tea tree group. Peppermint's main properties are clearly confirmed today scientifically as being antimicrobial, antifungal, antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and anesthetic. Peppermint oil has shown lethal to several types of dangerous bacteria, including Staphylococcus aureus and pneumonia-linked bacteria. Since the essential oil is highly valued and very popular as to its application, It is important to take care of pure quality because excessive demand for a product easily leads to mass production followed by quality loss and adulteration. Impurities will disrupt the natural interaction of the different compounds and reduce the revitalizing effects of the essential oil. Being an expectorant and strongly connected with the respiratory system for clearing the lungs, for nasal congestion and sinusitis, A pure quality of essential oil is therefore a must. Research has shown that one of the major compounds of peppermint oil, menthol, improves the feeling of freshness and airflow in our nasal cavity. No wonder that the popularity of peppermint and its essential oil also in our times is largely due to its fresh, invigorating fragrance with its tonifying and relaxing effects on the mind. Just sniffing or inhaling the aromatic odor of the essential oil for a second immediately bestows a cooling sensation on the whole system and clears our breath. Even if the oil may not be, in many cases, a permanent healer, peppermint is nevertheless an excellent helper for digestive problems, as already mentioned before, and is very useful in cases of cold, fever and flu. As an antispasmodic and momentary painkiller, especially in case of headache or migraine, applicable even undiluted or slightly mixed with the vegetable oil on the temples or shoulders and neck, peppermint is just unrivaled. It is a good oil to help against travel nausea and indigestion, supporting also liver and spleen. According to studies from the University of Cincinnati, Peppermint is capable of increasing concentration and mental precision. For example, combined with wintergreen, tropical basil, bay laurel and eucalyptus citriodora, peppermint oil is an excellent agent against lumbago and sciatic pains. And with its pain-relieving properties, particularly in combination with lavender, basil and kajapot oil, peppermint is also very helpful in case of neuralgia, and for easing muscular aching and stiffness. Or as Dr. Telfon, French aromatherapist, recommends, by blending peppermint with cardamom oil in combination with cumin oil in the basis of olive oil, it becomes even more powerful for enhancing our digestive capacities. Peppermint 
also acts as a skin cooler and relieves redness, irritation and itchiness if rightly applied in correct dilution. In addition, peppermint stimulates the lymphatic flow. Its influence on the mucous membranes of the lungs adds to its detoxifying antiseptic properties. Peppermint has a strong connection to the element of ether or space, which is cooling in nature. Ether expands the mind and intellect and helps to dissolve spasm or knots of stress and tension accumulated in the unconscious areas of our system, especially the nervous system, which naturally has a tendency to cramp under the slightest challenges in our life. Peppermint, one can say truly a timeless benefactor and a masterpiece of Mother Nature's healing potential. Cooling crystals of freedom, of clarity and space under a warming sun. Mark Wallach.